Well, this is... This is what happens when you're too nice to people. So whenever you see someone like Fleta, just go ahead and be an asshole to him. The small doll aimlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. What about this one here? The toys sit quietly, neatly lined up on the tall shelves. Okay, cool. What about you? Yeah. A broken nutcracker soldier leans against the wall. His eyes have been plucked out. Huh. Okay, good. Oh, hey, you're talking. We have been expecting you, miss. Yep, that's how I'd respond to. Don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. You're the chosen one. Yeah, this is not creepy at all. Alright, cool. Well, I already saved, so that's a good thing. It's really dark in here. Oh, fuck. Okay, here. Oh, there we go. What's going on? You're finally here. We've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's just as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. The chosen one. I need to get out of here. I don't blame you one bit for that. We're gonna skip all this though and just save one more time. Okay, little mouse. I'm sorry I didn't mean to step on you. How about you? Countless dolls stare down the corridor. Their intense gazes follows whoever dare glances at them. I see. Fuck yeah, pumpkin charms. I still don't know what those do, but I have a feeling those are going to be for the good ending. Jesus Christ, this is weird. Covered in grimy fur, the big teddy bear gazes into emptiness. Pitch black, thick tears slowly drip down his stained cheeks. Oh, you poor little guy. I feel terrible for you. Are you all the toys that have been discarded by Fleta? Huh. A totem pole of toys. Excellent. This place isn't so bad, right? Pumpkin, it's fucking awful here. I have so many friends here. It's a really pleasant place. I guess. Oh. It's that doll again. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about you. And you're gone. Where did it go? I don't know, but we're gonna read this. There once was a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Maybelle and Dorothy, sworn best friends, as close as two peas in a pod. Both had received their blessings from God. The twins, Juliet and Isabella, standing as the youngest, and yet said to be the strongest. Madeline was a town liar, who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Eventually, they came across the little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful ceiling, or scenery. The girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, as she told him, brandishing the tool in the air. You can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow to greed. I'm sorry. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts. For if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. Holy shit, this got serious. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the little girls to partake of their magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girl's betrayal, 
the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging? The girl asked the girls, to which they replied, Madeline did it. Dorothy always says the truth, cried Mabel. Julieta is a liar. Mabel stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never lie, pleaded Julieta. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Mabel. I'm sure it was Julieta who stole the wand, shouted Mandolin. Holy shit, there's too many girls. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until her very last breath. What a horrible story. Well, I see. <laughs> Who dared steal my most precious belonging? I didn't steal it, dude. That was not me. Oh, shit. I acquired a box of matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. Oh, wait a minute. Read it again, because whoever Malin said took it is the one that took it. Alright, which one? Madeline. Madeline was the town liar. Alright, so come on, just a little faster here. Alright, so let's pay attention here. Madeline did it. Dorothy always... Okay, no. 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 Negative. You can trust Maybell. It was Maybell. Maybell stole the wand. Alright, which one's Maybell? Maybell stole the wand. Hold on, don't burn Dorothy. Which one? Madeline did it. Dorothy always says the truth. F fucking fuck. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Alright, so burn Maybell. Alright, where is Maybell? I, I have such bad memory. This one. Burner. I can't believe it. I'm saved. Thank you so much, miss. What? What? No, I wanted the burner. Wait. Uh, I think I chose wrong here. Completely wrong. Yes, I did. Huh. Okay, then. Acquired a rusty key. I would like to say that I knew exactly what I was doing, but I had to brute force that. I'm just too dumb for my own good. Or not good. There we go. See, you got the point. Divine punishment has been rightfully administered. That's what you get for being a thief. Isabella. Too bad it wasn't Maybell. Now I know who my real friends are. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and use this key and get out of here. What is Neeb's brief? Oh, that's the letter. I forgot about that. Nope, not that. That's not what I wanted. This one. Alright. It's so dark. Yeah, it is. Do you know why? Because you're in the basement. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Scissors. Fuck it, why not? Acquired a pair of rusty scissors. Maybe I can use them to get out of here. Did not see that coming. It sees notes again. I wonder who could have written something like this. Hum. I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably her mom. There's hair coming out of this mirror. I'll cut the hair, dude. Okay, maybe not. 
the mirror's surface emanates an ephemeral, ghostly glow. Ephemeral? Is that the proper way to pronounce that? Alright, let me see here. Here, do you want this thing? Guess not. Oh, you're apparently unhappy that I left. What was that? That's me getting the fuck out of here. Actually, I want to go back and see if anything has changed in there. Negative. Not this time. Alright, cool. Well, we're just gonna go backwards then. Alright, dude. You think I don't know what you're doing? Which I don't, honestly. Oh. Good. What do I do? I can't get out. Don't even sweat it. We're not even that near death or anything. What do you want to get out for? I thought you were staying here with us. I'm not staying here. Please, miss. Don't leave us. We need you, miss. No. You must stay. You're not allowed to leave. I have to leave this place. You guys are assholes. Oh, shit! Okay, they're moving now. We're going left. We're going up. We're going to the right. What is this? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh no, get off me. Get- Oh shit. Huh. Torn to part by little dolls in their plushy little hands. Not the way I thought I'd be going out. Alright. Time to go again. We're going this way. Nope, oh, come on. Um, no, no, no. This way. Oh, shit. Alright, think, 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 think. Here. Um, back in here. It's locked. Oh, shit. Um, what am I supposed to do right now? Come on, don't do this to me. Fuck, okay. What is that? Can't use the scissors on it. No. How about candy? Do you want candy? No. Alright, we're gonna try one more time to get out of here. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'll figure it out. What? I don't I don't even Okay, sure, why not? Holy shit. I can't believe this. Oh, pressing the Z. No, it's locked. Okay, so hold on. Um Rusty scissors. There we go. Holy shit. I died like eight times on that. Alright, well, whatever. What is this place? I don't know, dude. It looks kind of interesting. A white rook piece. Yep, gotcha. Gotcha. Definitely safe. Holy shit. You truly are special, miss. What do you mean, Mr. Pumpkin? Why don't you go ask the princess? I bet she's dying to see you. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. Mr. Pumpkin, where am I? Oh, I don't know, my girl. It could be anywhere. Yeah, so I just basically, I died like four times and I just took a break. Because I just woke up and, you know, I was not in the mood to be kept dying. Alright, so let's see here. This statue looks familiar somehow. Yeah, I guess so. What happened to these statues? Looks like they got knocked over. Oh, hey, look at this. It's Fleta. Excellent. Who is this? What is this? Why is there a statue of me here? I don't know. Push it over. 
a statue of a little girl bowing down in a graceful gesture as if greeting someone. Oh, cool. We're gonna play musical chairs. Not with you, Fleta. <laughs> Welcome back, miss. Fleta, I have to talk to you. A.K.A. bury those scissors deep into your neck. Talk about what? I need to know what's going on. How did you get out of the attic? One that wasn't an attic. That was definitely a basement. Hi. Tell me, miss. How did you escape? Fleta, listen to me. <laughs> I really don't like you. Say, miss. Will you play one last game with me? You know what, you may have red glowing eyes, but I've got like a hundred pounds on you. You're like twelve. I am at least fifteen. I will fuck your shit up, kid. Flat up, please. No more games. This could be a problem. Let's play my favorite game, shall we? If you win, I'll tell you everything I know. If you lose... You probably already know what will happen. Do you promise that you will tell me what's going on? Why, of course. Have I ever lied to you? All the fucking time. Let's play now. Oh shit, we are playing musical chairs. Fucking right on. Sit down in the nearest chair as soon as you... Okay, be careful not to be left out or you will lose. You probably know what will happen if you do. I do indeed. Oh, 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 oh. Got it! The Hitsy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hooray, look, Igliet, I won. I won, I won. No, you didn't. I hit Z. Fleta, what do you want, loser? Fleta, hi. I will be Princess Fleta to you from now on. Understood. Fleta, I don't want... Don't worry, miss. Everything will be fine. It will be all thanks to me. Won't it, Iglia? Fleta, won't you at least tell me what's going on? That's not what we agreed on, now is it, miss? You won't have to worry about a thing. Everything will be up to me from now on. You will finally be able to rest. Won't she, Iglia? Wait, Fleta. What are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing, miss. Now come here. Let us talk. No! Don't be stubborn now, miss. Everything will be fine. All you have to do is trust us. Now come. Let us be friends. No, this is wrong. No, I don't want to stay here. Now that's something horrible to say. Isn't it, Iglia? Indeed it is. There's nothing you can do to change our promise. Everything will be just as it was supposed to be. All you have to do is... Take a rest. And leave everything to us. I am all you need, miss. Nothing can separate us. Not even mother's dirty lies. Oh shit. <laughs>